<laughs> so we're going up to the high note now. I want to hear. I'm really curious to hear how this goes because she's bringing a lot of weight up with her. Hey, real quick, I just want to welcome you to the Big Brain Singer channel where singers and music lovers come together. I'm Charlie, and my goal is to share my knowledge of singing and love of music with as many people as possible. If you want to be the first to experience reactions just like this one, please join us on Twitch. Links down below, Monday, Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And if you yourself are an aspiring singer and want a mini voice lesson from me, I hold a free and open vocal clinic every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern as well. So make sure to join our community Discord server. Links are also down below. To join hundreds of music lovers like yourself and to stay updated on community events. I hope to see you there and I hope you enjoy this reaction and analysis. All right, next up guys, Tarja singing Mein Herr Marquis. You guys know I'm an opera guy, so I can't like, I cannot wait to hear it. I love this opera from Die Fledermaus by Strauss. <laughs> This is like opera opera. It's like an opera concert. My Herr Marquis, nice. I don't like that her shoulders are so high, but beautiful tone. Damn, it sounds good. So like if if there are weird technical quirks like that, I don't really care if you sound like this. Beauty and the So for those of you who don't know this aria, the impressive part comes now. She's so expressive. This is going to come back again, so I'm not going to go back. But the way she approached it, so she's, it sounds like laughing, right? The character in the opera at this point is laughing at a guy. She's trying, she's faking, she's in a disguise. And she's trying to convince someone that she's like, you know, a, a famous actress and singer in the show, right? But she's not. She's a maid. And so she's at this party, and, and, she's, and she's trying to convince this guy. And the way that she's singing is so ornamented, and it's, it's a really heavy beautifully round sound to bring up on those really high uh onsets right and and she's doing it super well and she's also evoking like the the artistic and operatic stylistic integrity of this is super amazing <laughs> That was such a beautiful line, and she keeps the air flowing. All of that vibrato is just the result of a super relaxed larynx and a really engaged air, a really full-bodied air support. And sure, you're saying she's cosmic, and as long as you listen to her every now and then, you can't handle too much of her voice, but she really can sing. So I think it's an interesting point. 
because a lot of us here know Tatya as the first singer of Nightwish, right? And so that's a totally different style of music that we're used to. And she, her voice is also like very operatic in everything she sings. Like you can, you can extract that operatic tone from every single thing she's done. Um, and so if you're not someone who's thinking about operatic stylism, like how I'm hearing, you know, I'm hearing her express different things through the way she approaches the line, through the way the vibrato is speeding up a little bit or growing or widening, through the way she is uh, sliding in a way and, and, doing, and doing all different kinds of ornaments. That's what I'm listening to. And that's all in the world of operatic style, which I think she does really nicely. What a lot of us are missing is sort of that understanding of operatic style. I had to go to school for years to really understand and appreciate how this works. And I think it's a shame that opera is so inaccessible to a lot of people. Um, and that's no one's fault, but the industry itself. Like I, I'm the first one to admit as a career opera singer that opera is, is inaccessible. It's not easy to get. It takes time to understand and, and time to train your ear to hear things. And it's, there's no one makes it worth it. Right. You know, I love singing it, but listening to it sometimes still feels like a chore. And I think that's what a lot of people hear when they're singing, when they're listening to Tatya sing, especially something like this, it's beautiful. Anyone can appreciate this and call it beautiful. But the part that makes you want to keep listening is understanding the artistic choices she's making with her voice, which is a whole freaking, you know, minefield of just interpretation, right? <laughs> no, sure. I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with anyone for not understanding, like, or for not, like, appreciating the operatic voice. I only appreciate it because I practice it myself, you know? Um, it's... It's her style, right? But it's hard to appreciate her style. It's hard for me to appreciate it. It's not easy. It's so much easier for me to listen to Floor and that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's like, it's, it's, you know, it's just interesting. Opera used to be for people and then it turned elitist. I cannot agree with you more. I cannot agree with you more. I think in the early 20th century, when Gustav Mahler began shushing audiences and making everyone be quiet when opera was happening, that's when opera stopped being about the people. And it started to be about this highfalutin, you know, the ideal that doesn't make sense it's a very like uh, i'm not even gonna go there i'm gonna get political <laughs> but yeah i mean yeah it's it's a mental framework it takes a lot of mental anyway let's just listen to the rest of this and enjoy the beauty of it for what it is because then we're gonna get on to some other music <laughs> Doing straight tone with that much richness is wonderful. Raven Pat, I cannot agree more. Never put down one singer to uplift another. There's no, you can't, it's, it's like impossible to quantitatively compare singers. So, so true. Well put. So true. Let's, I want to just hear that straight tone again, because this is just one incredibly impressive vocal feat, which needs to be recognized, is getting that straight tone right into that fluttery vibrato. to the high note now i want to hear i'm really curious to hear how this goes because she's bringing a lot of weight up with her um pink i've not i've not heard tuama sing yet Ryan, you're so right. So this, this Strauss, this Strauss, um, Johann Strauss, 
he just wrote mostly like all of his famous music is just waltzes. It's just in threes. I can totally understand why you you don't enjoy it. It's just dun 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 dun. Richard Strauss, on the other hand, Richard Strauss is like one of my favorite favorite composers because the differences in all of the music he's written some of it's beautiful some of it's gritty and hard it's like romanticism at its finest romanticism go- going into contemporary stylism and the the work the variation of work and the variation of types of music he wrote for his time period absolutely one of my favorite composers um yeah so that last note was really impressive you can kind of tell this isn't like her this is probably not her favorite day to sing um because she she did get off of one of those high notes really quickly but you know she sang that super super high note with the type of voice she has i would not pin her for someone singing what i would call light repertoire like this this is light-ish repertoire her voice the way she's singing is a lot heavier would be great for something like puccini great for something like like uh uh, like Strauss, like uh, Richard Strauss, but yeah, it was very, very beautiful. Yeah, I, I her Tarja singing in German. It was really nice. Her German was perfect, as far as my ear goes. I I do speak a little German. I sing a lot in German, and her diction was really fantastic. Wow, you're still here. If you did enjoy the video, I want to invite you to check out my Patreon page where I offer multiple tiers of perks for both aspiring singers as well as music lovers who want to take their listening skills to the next level. Also, I do need to say it, like 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. It really doesn't take much. Can you please just press the little button down there? If you made it this far, you probably fit in right with the rest of the people who are the big brain community. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>